Yeah. We kind of made a mistake. What did we do? <laughs> we had this laser on... On the flexible plastic? Uh, yeah, a non-free float handguard of that oh. AR. So we are moving it to this one, which is free float. It should be a little bit more of an accurate representation of what we can expect. Somebody got bad data. Bad data, bad data, bad data. Okay. I believe that is decently mounted on there. What's up guys, I'm Jake with TNT. I'm coming at you with a special, special fry video today. We are talking about this little guy right here. Children. Uh, we're talking about this little green laser. This is by a company. Let me not point the gun at myself. No. This is by- For the children. This is by a company. It's a little bit upside down, but you see this is from Votatu. And this is the oh, hey, M. Can I say this on video? What's that? Votatu. Okay. <laughs> this is the Votatu. It's a green laser that attaches through M lock to your rifle, probably an AR 15. M4 LGC is a particular model number. So, this is a company that actually reached out to the channel. Much appreciated, by the way, John. Appreciate that. And they asked us to do a review on it. So, today, looking at the M4 LGC green laser. Full disclosure, we actually got this product for free that was sent out to us. We really do appreciate it. And I'm going to be straight up with you. This is an Amazon laser. A lot of you are going to automatically think, you know, Amazon products, typically red dots, lasers, things like that. They typically don't hold zero. This company reached out to us. They know the kind of reviews we do. They know we actually review real actual firearms and not just like airsoft stuff. So we really feel confident that this is going to work out at least. So we do think that so for them to contact us to do this review, it must mean that they are confident that this will hold zero and I'm excited to see how it does. Because if they've watched any of our videos, especially the Christmas blow up special, they know that we can have a lot of fun sometimes. Oh. <laughs> I saw something go about 50 feet in the air. Whoa. Like a streamer. It was, it was its little scar. <laughs> Let me make one thing clear. Even though this was sent for free to us, uh, we're going to remain as unbiased as possible. And because it was free, I'm a little bit more okay with being kind of rough with it. Treating like a redhead stepchild. Magnetic charging port. Magnetic Ooh. charging port. Ooh. Fancy. Hang on here. Oh, God. So you can adjust the elevation and windage. Now, obviously, I got mounted to the left side here. Up, down, left, right. That may not exactly coincide correctly depending on how you mount it. All right, you ready? We're going to drop a few times on gravel from various sides here. You ready? Yep. Yeah. Oh, my heart. So we basically beat this thing up to see how it would hold zero. Granted, we've moved it to another AR now. The least we can say is that the durability test proved that it still actually works, no matter how much you be it dropped on gravel and bricks and concrete and stuff. I'm not going to repeat that test because I really don't want to ding up the PSA Jackal. So rather than uh, drop it from waist high like we did before, I am going to give it a few good drops after we zero it against something like metal or maybe a brick, just gingerly making sure it lands on the actual laser and not anything else because I like this AR. Let's get it zeroed and uh, see if we can get a little bit more accurate results. <laughs> one for zeroing, another one for beating the crap out of the laser and seeing if it holds zero. My brother in Christ, that's spot on. So right now you're just putting rounds through to see if it'll hold zero. Yeah? yeah, I'm just putting rounds through right now to see if it's gonna hold zero just from the function of the Here's firearm. It. Let's see, uh, see how she does. Let me take this off real quick too. I'm pulling those shots. I missed her. Well, now, honey, the laser's got to be out. Again, we are empty here, so all that good stuff. So we're just going to drop it a few times here. Oh, 
after giving it a proper beating, I'm going to shoot with the laser right on target for you. And I'm going to look just through, just, you know, looking at the laser. See if I shoot here. Oh, got it. Oh. It's actually not shifted that bad. All right, so the, the Tattoo M4L GC. Um, you know, there's some debate between whether you should have a visible laser versus like IR. We're not here to debate that issue. With this being an Amazon laser, I was expecting a lot more shift in the point of impact, but I mean, honestly, it's been all right. As long as you got on an actual free float rail and not make the silly mistake we made putting on a Magpul plastic handguard. If nothing else, that shows why you definitely need to have a free float rail for this. And if you've got one, then this is held up really good. If you're actually looking at getting a visible laser and you want to do so on the, you know, less expensive side, this is, in my opinion, a really good way to go. What was the price point on that? <laughs> it's actually only like 50 or $55. It's not too bad. It, it held up really well. The housing seems pretty sturdy. I'll give it that. The main difference between expensive lasers and cheaper options is just how much shift it has in the point of impact. You know, a lot of your airsoft stuff is going to obviously made for like almost no recoil. So it's a little bit less quality as far as the manufacturing standards go. This being 50 or $55, I was honestly expecting it to be a similar quality, but I mean, here we are 120 rounds later and it's definitely useful. I mean, who's to say over a long period of time, I'm sure it would shift. Uh, most stuff is eventually gonna shift the point of impact the more rounds you put through it. But uh, as far as this goes with what we've done, especially the part where we beat it on the truck and dropped it on the gravel and stuff, it's proven to be durable and it's proven to hold at zero, so I like it. We want to thank the guys at Votatu again for sending this out to us. We really appreciate it. We enjoyed trying it out. We definitely were a little bit rough to it there, but that's okay. That's part of it. Guys, if you enjoy this kind of content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. What do you think about this visual laser? I'd love to hear from you. We will see you next time. Man, as unbiased as possible. Yes, it was sent out to free. Uh, it me. was sent. Hello, my name is Free. Thank you for leisure. Oh, Ian's calling. Let me make one thing clear. Even though this was sent out to free for us, we are going to remain as unbiased as possible. No, it wasn't sent to free. It was sent for free. Did I say that? You did.